What is up guys and welcome to the 15th video in this series. In this video we are going to cover um, the points and the high score labels. So um, I'm going to just try winging it for now. I'm not actually going to code everything out before and then do it. So um, we'll see how this goes. You can see kind of my thought process as I, um, as I go along. So for the points and high score labels, let's, uh, let's just jump right in here. So we're going to go into our game scene file to start. And we are going to, right under the add tab to start label, I'm going to say funk add points labels. And here I'm going to say, um, so we want a, a label in the top left that's going to keep track of our points and a label in the top right that's going to keep track of our highest score. So let's create those two labels now. I'm going to say um, one of them is going to be called points label. Um, it's going to be text, I'm just going to have that be zero, and I'm going to say let high score label equal sk label node, which is also going to be just a text of zero here. So um, actually now what I'm thinking about it, with our points labels, we're going to want to create a separate class because you're going to, we're going to be able to increment our points labels. So this would be my basic thought process. I would basically kind of get started. I would just start coding things out and then things kind of come along the way and I readjust and change things as I go. And that's just kind of how programming works. You kind of just, it's better just to jump in rather than to necessarily think too hard about it on most things. So um, that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna create a new class. So we're gonna say it's gonna be a Swift file I'm going to call this an ML points label, create, and uh, we're going to import UI kit here. It's going to be an ML points label. Uh, just to keep this stuff organized, I'm going to put this under a new group for labels. Even though, the, even though there's just one file, I'm just going to do that. Um, ML points label, and it's going to be a SK label node. And we're going to need to import sprite kit as well to get that to work. Cool. So um, we want to create an initialization function so we can initialize this ML points label to be any number that we want. So I'm going to create this init method. Um, it's going to have a parameter of uh, init num ui or just int. Right there. Now this ML points label has to keep track of an actual number that is contained within it. So I'm going to say creates a variable up here. And this is going to be the number. And it's going to just be initially set to zero here. So in this initialization function, all we're going to do is we're going to set the number equal to the num, and don't let this confuse you. Remember that this number right here is the number for the points label. This num is the parameter that's actually passed into the initialization function. And what we're also going to do is we're going to say the, the text of the ML points label is going to equal this right here. So if you guys haven't worked with, um, let's add that required decoder method. Use of self textbook. Okay, first I think we need to actually we need to call super dot net first, just so um, everything's initialized, so we can actually change that text. So if when we do this, um, what we're saying is this backslash kind, this backslash and the parentheses afterwards kind of indicates that we're going to insert this num into the string. So it's just a way of converting your um, integers into a string easily. So um, that's what we're doing with the text there. So now we have that initialization function. We want to create um, another function. If we're kind of thinking about what we want our points label to do, we want to be able to easily increment, increment it up by one for the um, initial points label. So we're going to create a function called increments. 
And what this is going to do is just going to increase our number right here by one. And it's going to change the text to our number. And um, that's all it's going to be. This is actually going to be a really simple. It's going to be a really simple label. It's going to be a really simple class here. So now if we go into our back into our game scene, I have it pulled up over here. When we uh, are adding our points labels right here, instead of creating the SK label node, I'm going to say this is going to be an ML points label with an initial num of zero. And same with this. Eventually, we're going to, as soon as when we get things uh, saving, we're going to make the high score label actually be like load in your high score. But just for now, we're going to set that to zero. Um, we're going to say points label dot font color equals. Actually, just to make it so it's not repetitive, we want both the font color and the font name of both of our labels to be the same. So we're just going to actually put this in the initialization method that we use. So I'm going to say um, font color equals UI color dot white color. Font name equals, we're going to just call it Helvetica again. And uh, font size is equal to, let's just try putting it at 20 and see, see how that works for us. So we're going to do that. Now we have this. Cannot assign a value of type to a value of type CG float. Okay, let's see if this is just a. Yeah, Xcode has been having a lot of different um, kind of small errors lately. So if you guys run into that, just make sure you just try to run it to make sure it kind of flushes all those out. Um, kind of annoying, but just something we have to do for now. So we have that. Uh, we're going to now set the positions of these. So I'm going to say it's positions going to equal be equal to CG point make. And remember any um, point we add to our scene is going to be positioned from the bottom left corner. So we're going to want, I'm going to try um, setting the X value to about 20.0 and the Y value to the view.frame.size.height minus 20. So that's just going to get the height of our scene. It's going to minus 20. So we're going to be in that top left corner for our points label. And let's just see how that works. And we're going to have to make sure we actually add it to our scene. Points, not point label. So when we add this to our scene, we are going to see nothing because we haven't actually added this function to our init method. So I'm going to put that in there, add points label. So now when you run this, you're going to see we have that little number right there. I don't really like how that's positioned. Um, I want that to be more equal in terms of the positioning. I'm going to move that down some. I'm also going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's make this like size, butt size 24. Um, we want its Y value to be around, I'm going to say minus 35. See how that works. And also I'm going to change this to black just to make sure when the clouds run by, it doesn't actually interfere with anything. So now when you run this, okay. So I like that position. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, easy to see and all that. So now let's position this other high score label really fast. It's going to be equal to CG point make. Um, it's going to be view dot frame dot size dot width minus uh, minus 35 here and we want to do view dot frame dot size dot height minus 35 again and just to make sure let's see where that let's see where that puts us it might be positioned a little bit off on the X uh, yeah so we want to do minus 20 instead of the minus 35 
Sweet, so we have our points label and we have our high score label over here. So just to indicate that this is the high score to our user, we probably want to add another label just to, um, just to indicate that. So I'm going to um, come down here. I'm going to say let high score text label equal, this is just going to be a simple SK label node with the text of um, high, just to keep it, yeah, just to keep it simple. High score text label, we're gonna make this font color equal to UI color dot black color. Um, high score text label dot font size, we wanna set that to about, we want it to be about 18, I think. Um, we want it to be smaller than our actual label size just to indicate that it's uh, it's a, uh, label, not an actual thing that's going to be changing. And uh, we're going to set this font name now equal to Helvetica. And instead of actually adding this to our scene, um, we're going to we're going to add this to our high score label. So its position is going to be CG point make, it's gonna have an x value of zero. And I'm going to guess it's going to be about minus um, minus 30 or so and when that's what we're going to want we're going to want to position it relative to the label that we're going to be adding it to so we're going to say high score label now dot add child high score text label and let's see what that looks like now so we want to just it looks like we want to probably have this a little, little bit less and we also want it to be at about size 14 or so Run this again, and awesome, that looks pretty good to me. That at least indicates to the user that we have our points label on the left and our high score label on the right. So that's going to be, um, now that we have this initial, these initial labels set up, um, we can move on to the next video. I'm gonna split this up into multiple videos just so we don't have videos that are too long. And in the next video, we'll actually get this guy incrementing every single time we pass a wall. So see you guys in the next one.